Omo yawa donga so let me tell you something. Should I? Let me say it. All right, my people, welcome. Welcome once again to IPOB Media. This is the place where we give you the gospel of Piafra, the only channel where you get the latest update, gist, information, news, and everything concerning Biafra and the struggle for freedom. All right, this is a place you don't want to miss. Okay, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, right? Click on the notification bell so that you don't get to miss out on any of the information we push out here. And don't forget to share, share, so that many of our brothers and sisters, we get to know what is going on concerning Biafra, right? All right, straight up into what we have today. Well, this man has revealed, you know, top secrets about the zoo president select health. Omo, you shook. I want you to, you know, watch this video yourself, right? And then see you in the comment section. Hi, welcome to my platform, Linda's TV Show. If it's your first time of coming across this platform and you like what I do here, my dear good friend, you are welcome. After watching this video, please put on your notification bell to all notification. It's very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. To my old subscribers, my old followers, to those who are dedicated, who always watch, share my video. Oh, what can I give to you? May God Almighty bless you all and grant that that your heart desires in this platform i upload video on daily basis based on what is happening in nigeria and in biafra land after watching please share and subscribe and i also sit down here to watch the video together with you then we'll come to the comment section to say our opinion you are free to criticize but let us always do it constructively as we go into today's everyone from wherever you are joining from just before we get fully into it i would like to make something clear to everyone as long as you are human oh. see nobody nobody is immune from falling sick getting unwell or even dying there is no particular age that says you cannot get sick Sure you get there is no particular age that says you can't die so naturally for humans we are meant to you know as strong as we are at the time we were with her and then uh, you know what i mean we get tired some have kind of uh, recovered from serious health uh, issues so there is no biggie about it therefore when you talk about uh, public officials and in fact in the case of nigeria from what you are currently dealing with the only difference here is this when uh, hang on sorry i was talking about the health and all that anybody can fall sick anybody can die so don't let anybody blackmail you for probing into tifnumbu's health and this is why your health is your private business of course it's yours I mean, whatever it is you are going through, shouldn't be anybody's business, okay? Until you decide to be a public official, when you are expected to actually declare everything about you, including your health status. It's the law. It's their law. Their law says you have to declare everything about you, including possible. I mean, the possibility of uh, you being unable to carry out your duty in that position is their law so that means everyone would then be what would be interested in and you probably won't really be so interested if this man as i mean I, I haven't been like displaying some signs of mental disorder incoherence eh a uh, continency have you waited to call that way person they pee for body sure you get or where is completely lost for you know lost the idea of the environment dementia 
are you with me is displayed all this several in public that raised the concern of the buddha is this man all right we know he's not all right just like uh bokuari bokuari survived whatever he, he passed through simply because nigeria picked the bill while bokuari was lying down i mean lying uh, you know uh, half dead like a vegetable in different i mean in the uk hospital the thieves they were using his name and all of them they were running mad the terrorists they were also like uh, hibernating in his uh, government they were what they were running mad the result of that is the nigeria you have today so Kolu left nigeria 34 days ago that's okay i mean he's still uh, well he's no longer a private citizen so that's no let's not even go there so he rigged an election right and then he ran to paris where he was for me hang on is that your yeah so where he was for medical care not in nigeria where they are in government and they have been in government for eight solid years so this is also concerned but meanwhile while he was away there were so many things there were rumors that are actually not rumors and in the coming days we are going to know more right there were rumors that uh, he suffered serious health uh, complication nobody said anything in nigeria oh he's fine he's very strong he's, he's agile so when you now pick on this and say this man know well what is their game what are they up to now before we even, even go further right me explaining to you that anybody can fall sick it's normal it's just to let you know that uh, do not let anybody blackmail you when you are talking about this very serious problem don't let them tell you what is your problem with it what is your business because if you have witnessed what bokuari did to nigeria in eight years eh and all due to the fact that uh, number one is also demented number two we don't even know what he's suffering from some said it's leukemia some said they can't solve the bone can't solve this or that like almost every part of him is reported to have been changed just to make him appear the ways they can push him on just to appear as the president of nigeria and we remember that uh, a lot of people right were actually like uh, only happy even though nigeria was born you know they were happy that at least bokwari is still the president whatever it is that they were going through whatever it is nigeria is passing through it doesn't really matter so that part eh that people are now going to try to blackmail you simply because with what you suffered under Bokowari or you are suffering under Bokowari that has triggered you, put you in that PTSD state. Do not let anybody blackmail you with, uh, do you want him dead? I know you are praying for him to die. No, 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 no. Whether you pray for him to die or you pray for him to live, none of it is in anybody's control or anybody's hand. But what is in your control is the fact that uh, the prop the calamity of his uh, failing health and those who are pushing him is going to be worse than whatever you are witnessing under bokwari now because even before bokwari became president of nigeria right bokwari never spent uh, weeks and months in hospital so sure you remember bokwari was not walking about with syringe attached to his arm oxygen uh, gas uh, oxygen cylinder and then uh, some ready-made uh, emergency doctors that are going to quickly attend to him but why it wasn't like that too so the point here is this Boko, I mean, Tifnumbu is sick and it is now going to be your armageddon in nigeria prayer so all of you who are pretending you remember some of you were praying but may Bokwari succeed. Bokwari succeed. May Nigeria succeed. All the enemy of Buari will be put to shame. Now, who is in shame now? Who is in poverty now? Who is in a high DP camp? Who are those who are currently in, in the graves? 
who are those who are currently in the hands of terrorists as we speak eh nigerians so you can sit back and ignore this and begin to push the narrative of uh, hey, they want him to die no but see his death is means absolute nothing to the destroyed and ruined nigeria let's start with that do you understand now you have uh, a drug lord and uh, osama bin laden to i see i'll be waiting they call it two in charge abby they are going to be in charge of nigeria then that means something bigger is behind that you should begin to pay attention to with these little little details that are popping up talk speak speak out when they try to blackmail you with uh, hey you want no 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 don't uh, don't you're not you're not you're not interested in his death do you understand you are only interested in the destruction that uh, is uh, you know is existence actually going to bring to millions of people if you don't believe it in its years right nigeria moved from 13 million unemployed people to over 80 million unemployed people today and with the world bank report that just came out as well hmm? nigeria nigeria is going to add another 13 million poor people into the poverty basket with kolu you can just triple the number and some of you will still have a small small strength today eh to try to kind of shout people down eh abuse people or blackmail people and all of this and ignore all these warnings in four years eh majority of you you would have joined your fellow Nigerians in the poverty basket created by APC, all those your useless uh, and fraudulent hypocritical prayers. They won't work. Some of you said Bokwari failed because people didn't like him. What about those of you who love him? What about those of you who are ready to die for them? What about all your prayers for better Nigeria? Are your prayers not answered? Eh? Are those who don't like them or criticizing them, are they so strong that uh, they kept them so confused that terrorists have taken over Nigeria? That today you are using Naira to buy Naira. And that's their credit. Anyway, let's take the journey. Kolu is back. From what we heard, they said Kolu now struggle to eat. Kolu cannot even talk properly anymore. They said, Kolu, as you have him, has lost his most of his mind, like somebody with on Shoko, but it's not like Shoko Shoko. Che you get. Now, Kolu has gotten to a stage whereby he is now more or less like somebody who should be in an old people's home, okay? But they choose as old rock for him. Now, all of this may not mean anything because you say there are no proof other than the few public uh you know information that are available but there are people who also kind of know better within their rank who are releasing some information to the public for example when we saw the video of him with the uh malian a drug dealer that video and you know in a in a presidential shopper in guinea conakry that video couldn't have made it, uh, couldn't have surfaced online if it wasn't uploaded by somebody who was within that rank. So, same thing with his health. So, whatever is behind this whole thing, eh, it is about to begin to unravel. So, let's go to the arrival and then uh, step by step. So, Kolu arrived into the arms of his uh, followers okay and there are many at the airport now the welcoming party was huge at least for somebody that has been away for 34 days before we come back to the concerns and all that okay i am still going to take you through the trip of his arrival now when kolu arrived to the welcoming arm of his uh, supporters, Baba Oyoyo. This is uh, what that this uh, this is actually what that looked like. Let me see. Where's that clip again? Ah, they said he's dead. They said they are cloning him. Hey, look, he's back. Just like the same trauma that Buhari puts Nigerians into 
for eight years. Sometimes you won't even know if he's alive or if he's dead because you just don't hear from him. He became a mannequin. So they were so happy to see him. And they saw him unaided. He walked down TV. I mean, he walked out of the private jets himself. So what else do you need? It's fine. And, hey, hang on. See the joy on their faces. Yes. Jagaban Gambia, I mean, Jagaban Guinea is back. The Lagos Sabobakus were happy. The Yoruba APC fanatics, they are so happy. But it looks like it's like they forced him back. See, I am not a doctor, okay? And if I see something, I go talk him. Like, ordinarily, we should. And if nothing, if you have ne learned uh, nothing, since this book worries time, eh? Well, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, do not blame people who don't like him. Do not blame enemy. Do not blame anything for what are really obvious. He's a sick man, and he's going to need a lot of a lot of uh, foreign medical trip in order to at least to continue to appear in five seconds video, twenty seconds video. Sometimes one minute videos. He doesn't have to say much. All he has to do is just to appear. So if you it feels like they like if you look at that guy at the back of Kalu, that guy wearing a uh, dark sunshade uh, glasses, uh, sunshade. That is uh, the Alimodu Sheriff, Alimodu Sheriff of uh, Borono, the first accused alleged founder of uh, Boko Haram. They are all friends now. All criminals in Nigeria. Uh, if you were, if you are looking for them. Go and check uh, them around Tifnumbu. That is a fact as well. I don't know how you feel. Thieves, uh, money launderers, drug pushers, terrorist sponsor, and the rest of them. You will find them around him. He has a militancy. Yes. Terrorist of Niger Delta. All of them. They have uh, a bit of... Uh, is very welcoming. Now, in the mood of Kolu has returned, inauguration mood, this is concerning. You know. See, normally... APC, Egbe, Egbe, they will not agree. They will not admit. So you get, they will think you are trying to mock him. But I am not actually not here to mock him. Because like I told you, this could be anybody. It doesn't matter your age. Do you know that? We have seen children who are, who are, going, who are uh, undergoing chemo for cancer. We have seen, uh, you know, we have seen elderly people. We have seen young people who have had to take a treatment that requires them to receive this kind of uh show you get i don't know the name per se some of you are doctors you know something some of you are actually like uh, in the medical line like i said not to mock anyone or what have you but if they have to leave that on name if you have to leave this on your patient to go out of a uh, hospital for example, okay, somebody who was not in the hospital, who just went to on vacation, why is he having that uh, under his arm? Do you get that now? Eh? Good. They call it a PICC line. Those of you who are uh, in the medical field, right? So, if somebody who went on uh, vacation returned with this... Uh, PICC line uh, botox, uh, what do you call it? Uh, syringe. Eh? Does that mean that person is medically okay to begin to engage or to go back to work or to go and start a job? So this is the concerning part, okay? Now, when you raise this concern, they will think because you don't like him. They will think because you wish him something. See, I don't wish him anything. I wish Tifnumbu whatever he wishes himself. Do you understand? But the difference here is that uh, this man is going to soon be in charge as president of Nigeria. And he is going to appoint people into institutions in Nigeria, to run the institutions in Nigeria. Okay? He is going to, uh, you know, have to be in charge 
of uh, the country. So tell me, does this not guarantee, or should I say, does this not warrant an investigation to say what is actually wrong with Tinumbu? Some said that uh, yeah, this is for those who are having a uh, problem eating or those who are going through chemo for cancer. Different things. I don't know. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to open the line tonight uh, to have this conversation as well. So that's a new question. So if anybody is trying to blackmail you, trying to tell you that uh, uh, what is your business, what is this or that, no. What is really going on? Eh? Do you know that if they actually come clean, although in Nigeria they always believe they, they kind of have a way of uh, pushing superstitious uh, narratives. Remember during the Bokwari time, Bokwari was suffering from a uh, heart disease, mm? kidney failure. He was suffering from some other things that we probably, you know, like life uh, threatening uh, uh you know uh sicknesses then that he has to go through different dialysis for recovery different transplanting and the rest and they kept them stay secret oh, but he did the hand of the nhs in the uk the president of nigeria medical record and every procedure he passed through or he went through the record is with the mic's is with the uk government is with the nhs in the uk but the people in government in Nigeria, the security government, uh, the security agents in Nigeria, they have no medical record of their president. So do you now see why they said it is easier to use all of the compromise on the criminals who, who are in charge of Nigeria by the West, the ones you call the uh, neocolonists, the imperialists. So do you see how you kind of, uh, we, you know, in a double-edged sword, stab yourselves when you push eh, this kind of uh, individuals so Bokwari that nobody knew what happened to him was in the UK for months and they were telling you then that you remember they were bringing up different superstitious narratives in Nigeria some people poisoned him eh? how did they poison Bokwari when he's surrounded by his own people they said no they poisoned the uh, the air condition in his office but he only had kidney problem that he had to pass i mean he had to undergo uh, dialysis in the uk and so many other health complications he had yeah and he was given the first class health uh, care here in the uk so for eight years bokwari i mean turned uk nigerian president turned the united kingdom to his uh permanent home because of health care now here is uh, Tifnumbu is a billionaire is uh, you know a, 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 I mean, a kleptomaniac a kleptomaniac a uh, political crook that has so much money so having access to the best health care eh, for Tifnumbu is not a problem it doesn't have to be president of Nigeria to have access to that. Do you get that? All he actually, he lives like a president anyway, is the president of Lagos. The, the state that is the richest after federal government of Nigeria. So he's the president of Lagos. He has his own different private jets. Top of the grid, top of the shelf, uh, private jets. All he will need is just to put the emblem of uh, president of Nigeria on it. And, he, you know, he has the money. But now, he is going to give you, this time around, he's going to give you a different vibe. But we we'll all have to go and learn how to speak French. He has a house in the south of uh, France. And his uh, American hospital, where he has uh, doctors in, they are based in Paris. Now, if they don't tell you the truth about whatever is wrong with him, the next thing you are going to be dealing with for the next uh, years now, will be somebody is trying to kill him somebody wishing him death ah uh, some you know you know they are a bit different let me say something to you during the bokwari time eh the bokwari came and he told all of us who we are do you know that it was bokwari who told all of us who we are eh 
yeah before people used to lie to themselves that uh, the problem they have in nigeria is the problem of leadership only bad leaders but when bokwari came eh he later he made every tribe every ethnic nationality every religion in nigeria to know their place the impunity that he brought the full and his supremacy that they preached hmm? made everybody realize where they belong once they say now i you know go do it people actually got to know that and he made clear i mean apc with uh, bokwari they crossed all the red line that uh, those who were before all right this is where we end this conversation if you really enjoyed it I want to see your comment right on the comment section, right? Tell us what you think. Also, when you do your criticism, make sure to do that constructively, right? And again, uh, if you've not subscribed yet to this channel, I would like you to subscribe, okay? And then cl click on the notification bell so that you get our uploads anytime it comes out, right? And also do well to share, share so that many of our brothers and sisters will get to know what is going on regarding Biafra. As we did give on a hot, hot, hot. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you.